Hi, welcome back to my channel, Meg here. I am a brand photographer based out of San Diego, California, and educator to hundreds of photographers like you who want to build a business they love. Speaking of building a business that you love, today's video is all about how to fall in love with your business. Maybe you're just starting and I know these practices will be super helpful in making sure that you're really enjoying the journey or maybe you just wanna get reconnected with being in love and being inspired in your business. Thanks for joining me today. I wanted to talk about falling in love with your business in honor of Valentine's Day. For a lot of us, our business is our baby and we love it, especially in the beginning. It's easy to feel that love and passion in the beginning, um, but it's also easy to lose that joy because of all the little things that you don't know you're signing up for when you start your business that you then have to learn and do on a daily or weekly basis. And so my first tip for you is to really reconnect with why you started your business every single day. We need to really remind ourselves of why we're doing this because it's not easy being in business for ourselves. It's easier to get a nine to five job and clock in and clock out, but there's huge perks of why we're doing this. Like I know for me, a big one of my whys is the freedom to make my own schedule and I don't have to report to anybody. <laughs> I am my own boss. And I all also knew that I wanted to start a family and be able to be there for my kids, not have to put them in daycare five days a week. It's just something that was important to me. And so I've been able to set up my business in a way where I can work three days a week and then I can be home with my son and our second baby on the way <laughs> that'll be here very soon, I can be home with them and you know, not feel the pressure of having to work away somewhere else five days a week. So your reason is gonna be unique to you, okay? But you need to really write down why are you doing this? And I want you to think of something like a little bit selfish. Like, of course, you know, we all wanna make a difference and an impact in the world, and we wanna positively affect our clients and help them, but what is your selfish why? I want you to write this down. I want you to remind yourself every single day. The next tip I have for you is to break up with the hustle and start to fall in love with flow. So you get to decide how you run your business. And of course, in the beginning, there's always a time and place for hustle. There's always seasons. Sometimes I'm in a busy season and I just know the next few weeks or the next month is just gonna be busy. But hustle is not sustainable, okay? Hustle will lead to burnout and burnout will lead to resenting your business. I know how easy it is to compare yourself to other people when you look at social media and you see what everyone else is doing and it seems like they are just scaling their business so fast, so quickly and doing all the things but you're not really seeing 99% of what's going on. And so instead of getting shiny object syndrome and wanting to start all these new projects and overwhelming yourself and wanting to do everything all at once, I want you to just slow down and really focus on making sustainable foundations in your business that are gonna really last and support you long-term. Something I always remind myself when I'm feeling myself wanting to stress and hustle and I'm feeling that overwhelm is that business and life is really about the journey, not just the final destination. If we're not enjoying our journey on the way to accomplishing all our business goals, what's the point? So just remind yourself to slow down. You have all the time in the world to get there and enjoy the journey. Next, start to really make everything fun in your business again and spice it up. I wanna remind you that you are your own boss now. You don't have to report to anyone. You make the rules. How awesome is that? This is what everybody in the world wants and we have it. So take advantage of it. And I definitely find myself sometimes like getting caught up in all my to do's and all the stress, you know, some days are more stressful than others. And then I forget that, oh my gosh, I have all this freedom. I can make anything that's boring 
or annoying me a little more fun. And so how you're going to make it more fun is think of like the mundane tasks that you don't love doing like email, or maybe you're putting off planning content and writing social media. How can you make, or maybe invoicing, that's a big one for people. How can you make those things a little more fun? Maybe you can go to a beautiful hotel, treat yourself to a nice lunch and check your emails there or write content there where you're feeling a little more inspired and just get out of your house to a new location. This is something I do a lot because just going to a new place or maybe meeting a friend to co-work from a different place, that's fun. It just makes it more fun, right? So I wanna encourage you to really make every little thing in your business fun in some kind of way. Add a little ritual to it or spice it up a bit. The next way you really wanna take advantage of more fun in your business is taking advantage of freedom. Freedom, yes, the F word. So freedom is something we've worked so hard for and now we have it, but it's super easy to like put pressure on yourself for deadlines and your to-do list that will never end by the way. Um, And like getting caught up, which will never be caught up because we have a business to run. There's always gonna be things. So instead of worrying about that, So take advantage of your freedom. If you're just not feeling it one day and you're just really being called to like clock out early and go to the beach or sip poolside, do it, you know, follow that inspiration. And obviously we can't play hooky every day, but every now and then we can. And another little way I love to take advantage of freedom is like random shopping trips in the middle of the day, going to the grocery store or doing my errands when nobody's there. It's so nice to have that freedom. And then I can come back to work, you know, when I want to work, or maybe you love working out, going to the gym and you can go in the middle of the day when you have the whole gym to yourself. These are little ways that just remind us that our business is amazing, it's so much fun, and we love being entrepreneurs. The next thing you're gonna wanna do to be passionately in love with your business is to stay in your zone of genius and get support for the rest. So this is a journey, but you know, when we sign up for, to be entrepreneurs, we think, oh my gosh, I get to do what I love. I get to do photography all day long and take photos. And what we soon realize is that our zone of genius, that work is actually like a really small percent of running the business. And we have all these other things that take majority of our time. And so I want you to start to outsource things, start to get support for those things that just really drain your energy that you don't love doing. Even if all you can afford is five hours a month right now or 10 hours a month and you pay someone to help you with some little things that you've been putting off doing in your business that are just not your zone of genius and just feel hard and just suck your energy and are stressful and it's like on your mind even though you know that somebody else could probably do it much quicker and much better than you. So this is next level of like growing your business and what's going to be sustainable for you. We can't do everything in our business all by ourselves. So I really want to encourage you to start finding support from the beginning so that you can follow your heart and do the things that you love to do that bring you joy. And that might shift over the next few months or the next few years. You might love doing one thing for a while and then you don't love doing it anymore. And so you need support with that thing so you can keep your passion alive for your zone of genius and that work that you do that only you can do that is your big money maker. The last thing I want to leave you with today is just a reminder to make your business about more than just profit. Profit's important. I talk about how important profit is all the time and we want to make a lot of money in our business, but money's not the only important thing. And if we're only focusing on the money we're making and that's our only goal with our business, we're going to lose passion and we're going to lose the joy for business really fast. I wanna encourage you to use some of your profit or time or resources or energy in some way, some of your talent to give back to the world. 
and do it not for the money, but just for the joy. Maybe there's an organization you love donating to. I know I loved um, in the past donating to Kiva.org. They support new entrepreneurs around the world with little micro loans to help get their business started. They help people with education. So I, I always feel really good when I make a donation to that or even like local things. I love also participating in local events where I'm just gonna go and maybe donate a photo shoot, donate my you know, my time and my passion and my skill and give back. And literally that is the most rewarding thing in your business. It might just be an hour or two that you do once a month or once a quarter just to get started with this and giving back. But once you start doing it, it's seriously addicting because you realize, wow, like you just have this new appreciation for your gifts in your business and that what we've created with our business allows us to give back and make impact in really powerful ways. So just make sure you do have some kind of like for purpose in your business um, and not just for profit that you're doing. There's many ways to do this. Some people donate a percentage of their profits to organizations they love. Maybe, you know, if you are a creative or artist, you could give back by doing a photo shoot once a quarter, in, you know, to somebody who needs it, who otherwise couldn't afford it. And nothing will make you feel better and more inspired about showing up to work every day when you get to serve the world in this way. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have so many more videos you can binge watch after this to help support you in building your dream photography business. I hope you got inspired by this video. I hope some of these were helpful with how you can fall in love with your business. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and comment below. Let me know what else you wanna hear from me next. Have a great day.